Hello everyone and welcome to Lobojo.daku and today we have a review of another KO figure and this is the first time I'm reviewing a KO that I actually own the original. I owned because I actually sold it but let's take a look at this baby to see if it actually is a decent replacement. Uh, now actually at the time regretted selling the original of this figure but I needed some cash because I was low on cash so I ended up selling it so let's see if this guy is actually a decent replacement or not follow me i'll cover you okay so first impressions i'm actually doing a retake on this uh the paint job is definitely not as clean as the original one i can definitely tell some differences and some differences in mold like mold like in this here piece for the armor and the shoulders it's just not clean like the original one and there are some differences in paint job overall it's not as noticeable that the paint job is not clean because there is some good weathering going on but for someone who holds the original one i definitely can tell the difference and it is not that solid now most of the joints are actually okay the one that is not very good is the waist joint very loose indeed the, the legs seem to be okay. <laughs> the joints are actually revolt tech joints. What? I don't think it's, they're supposed to be, but I actually don't remember so well from my original video. But okay, so uh, it's okay. The first impressions, accessories. We we have the shield, and the shield for the most part is actually very well done, and mostly the same as the original one. Then we have the club that is mostly okay except for that little part there. There's like some defect there, but it's barely noticeable overall with the weathering on it. It's an accessory I didn't like very much in the original one, and this is just a little bit worse. We then have a sword, and the sword is actually okay. I don't have any complaints about the sword, it looks more or less the same as I remember from the original one. We do have an extra pack for those hands and I think we may need it because of one of the hand packs that are, doesn't look too good. We have our Figma stand that is okay mostly. All of them look tight enough and even the adapter is hold down very tight. And finally we have hands. It comes with two fist hands on him and we have two open hands and two grabby hands and all the hands are okay for the most part some small mold defects here and there but nothing too big okay so the overall impressions are good the figure looks good on its own even though i do think it is not on par with the original and don't forget to check out that review of the original as it will help you to give you a better idea of the difference between both comes the interesting part let your fingers get in there and have a good old rub it up so let's look at this articulation and again if you want to check out how it compares to the original one check the original review in the description below probably maybe in the cards above too we have a ball hinge in the little hair part of the helmet gives us some nice articulation and adjustment uh, so nice detail we have the ball joint ball hinge system on the head allows this great range of motion and i believe we have the same articulation on the bottom of the neck but i cannot check if it is just a ball pack or a ball hinge now here we don't have the ball joint to ball uh, hinge system that we normally have we instead have a double ball hinge and that's probably to avoid these uh, parts that actually move uh, but again, uh, it limits a little bit because of the armor parts, but still you can definitely adjust the arm in several different poses. We have a swivel on top of that arm. We have a ball hinge on the elbow, a ball hinge on the hand. The ball hinge in the hand is very stiff. This, I believe we have a ball hinge to ball joint. And it's the one that is very loose, 
but still gives us great range of motion. Uh, here we have two ball joints. So one ball joint for each leg gives us a decent spread, but not great. Good kick forward, decent kick back. We can swivel on top. We do have a revoltech joint on the knee. I don't remember if the original one was also this, but I hope so. And then we have also a clicky joint, a ball hinge on the foot, a pivot and a very loose toe bend. So the articulation is good, but it does have some defects in that toe bend and in that waist double ball joint to ball hinge. But again, it is decent. Yeah, <laughs> boy. 1000 Toys Devil May Cry 5 Nero SH Figurants Lupin the Third Figma Re Zero Ram I gave the original Goblin Slayer Figma my low budget of the coup seal of approval and I said it was one of the best looking Figmas of 2019. And for the most part this is a decent KO that is also getting my low budget of the coup seal of approval. It is an inferior product in every way, but that's to be expected, and if you're not experienced, you may actually be tricked and not see that it is a KO. If you are in the market for the original one, look for those small differences that I talked about in molding, in the paint job, and the articulation, as some joints are not even the same. But that's it for this quick review, don't forget to check out the review of the original one, compare it to this one. And as always, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell icon, and just check out more amazing videos in playlists in the description below. And in the end of this video, a new episode of the Lobo of the Cool News is coming soon. See you next time. Do it! Just do it!